What is going on, guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball. Today, I am bringing you the battle of the HK Army SLR versus the Die i5. Why, why would you want to compare those two? Probably because, first off, they are the same price point, 189 and 189 They are both top-end, high-quality tournament goggles. And uh, yeah, that's probably why we'd want to compare them because I know a lot of you guys would like to see it. Next similarity mark, we're going to just jump right on into it after we say go to LomoPaintball.com. We're talking lenses. They don't take the same lens, but they're both toolless and interchangeable. So if you wanted to add a clear or smoked or chrome or whatever you guys want to either one of these goggles, the lenses are interchangeable. Next, speaking of lenses and in that area, we're going to go with the foam. The foam on both of these goggles, you can pull out and replace it once it gets old and sweaty or chewed up by your dog. Both of these foams will pop out and you can replace them. So I do like that. Other than that, uh, let's go into why these goggles are different and what might fit your style the best. Wait, don't they both have like the pro pads in the back? Ooh, yeah, they both had pads, but they're not the same. Oh. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Or do you want to talk about it right now? Now that let's we're talk about difference? it now. What? Let's, okay, let's not wait, not keep you waiting. So let's look at the pad here in the back of the SLR goggle. It's a nice pad. It's got the silicone tacking, so it's not sliding up and down on your head. And it's going to provide some protection in the back in case you get bunkered or shot by your teammate from behind. That is a nice pad. So let's talk about one of my favorite things about the Die i5 goggle is they've got they've got a very nice pad in the back, and it's called the ratchet strap. So this is how you tighten or loosen. Your goggle you can either twist it left or twist this thing right i think right now the only goggle on the market that has this is the die i5 super super comfortable to wear kind of show you on the inside too more foam padding it's very very nice like i said i think that is my favorite feature about this goggle so that's a big difference right off the bat yep they both have pads but this one on the i5 is completely different Back to the front, let's talk about the difference of... Mark, which one Which one looks taller to you? Uh, ooh, would, you would you look at it? It's close, but I think the SLR is just barely nudging ahead. The SLR is just barely nudging it out, but um, I'm going to say the SLR probably has it in protection-wise. Side profile? I'm thinking the SLR is going to cover more down in the chin and neck area than the i5. Mm -hmm. Not by much, but it's very, very close. I mean, as you guys can see... I'll set this one down. They both have like this, this divot here in this area. As with the i5, it kind of divots in the same area as well. Speaking of that, the SLR over here in my hand is all one piece. So the actual foam, all of this is very, very flexible, one piece. On the die i5 here, you've got actual foam here, and it's two pieces. You can actually, it's got a Velcro there, so you can replace that if need be. But i 5s two pieces with foam. This is all rubber with a one piece. Uh, chin straps. Let's, hey, heck, let's talk about those. The chin strap on the SLR is magnetic. So if you guys, you don't have the buckle in the clasp, this thing is magnetic. So it just clips right into place. And the chin strap on the Die i5 is the old, you know, you got your, and it's baby. It's just a, it's mark. so tiny. It's just Look how so small tiny. it is. It is, it is. And you still got to clip it in spot. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, the chin straps for those bad boys. They do boys. both have a little padding, though, to keep they that do. Uh, Kevlar yeah, the, off your chin. That's right. right. They both have uh, very, very similar padding on the inside. But for me, I, would de I definitely like the uh, the magnetic uh, chin strap. Uh, Foam-wise, like we said earlier, it's not the same foam, but they are both removable, and you can pull it out and change it. Who's got better foam? Is Are they both three pieces? Yeah, two? they're both like, like a tri-layer foam here. Okay. So uh, looking pretty good, I would say, foam aspect. Very, very close. <sighs> Which one's softer? Touch it with your fingers. Oh, oh, let's give it. A, okay. Ooh, the i5 is a little softer, in my opinion. Oh, okay. i5 is a little, little softer. And this one says die on the inside, Mark. Mm. And guess what this one says? Uh, and there's a similarity HK? we didn't know about. And this one says HK. Ooh. So they both have their brands on the inside of the foam. That's very clever. Okay, so let's talk about a big thing here, in my opinion. You asked in one of the videos we did previously, which one would you rather change the lens on? Yeah, who's your 100 percent the SLR by HK Army. Die I5 is very, very secure. You've got a lot to do a lot of pushing tabs down from the top and the bottom, hinging things in. 
it's not that hard. Like I said, I've done a video on it before, but trying to get in the in the underneath here, there's a little button you got to press on each side and at the top as well. It's kind of hard to get in there. The SLR, I mean, it's super easy. You press that and it just goes forward. So if you guys are looking to know how to change a lens on either of these goggles, we already have a video out there on them. Uh, profile wise, flexibility and looks, the flexibility is definitely going to be going to the SLR. Compared to the i5, there's really not, it's not super, it's not too hard, but it's nowhere near the flexibility of the SLR. I would recommend the SLR for bigger guys like myself. The breathability is absolutely excellent. Even has top vents up top here for the air to release. On the i5, it does not have that. These are more for smaller faced. I like to call them snake players. Normally the biggest guy on the team isn't in the snake. So these goggles are meant profile wise for the smaller guys that like to stay tight behind the bunker. And up top, yes, of course, there's ventilation up here. And then on this one, there's ventilation up there. But um, overall, breathability is probably going to go to the SLR. I mean, yeah. like, mm, yeah, that's a tough one. It's, I mean, because there's a lot of front breathability in that i5. No, for sure, for sure. Um, I was just thinking about how it has the extra. You can, like, when you're wearing your head wrap and stuff, like it's crucial for these top vents to release the heat off the top. And say you are wearing head wrap. Yep, this is not attached. I don't know. There's a hard way to put it, it's like to the inner vents. But if this is blocked somehow, there's still ways for the air to transfer out of the top there. So, sure. uh, other than that, I think that the i5 here comes with a GoPro mount, correct? Uh, yeah. It's got a GoPro attachment there where the SLR doesn't come with one. So, another difference there. If you guys want to attach the GoPro onto your goggles, uh, you can definitely do that as well. Mark, is there any other features you think I missed between the two? Oh, uh, they both have boxes. Ooh, I like boxes. There's there's no hard case involved, but they both have boxes. They both come with uh, goggle bags to keep your lens from being scratched. Nice. So uh, I think overall that should about cover it. I mean, we've covered the lenses, the fronts, the back straps, the pad. I mean, pretty much everything that uh, you should need to know about the Die i5 versus the HK Army SLR goggle. And until next time, don't forget LoneWolfPaintball.com to check out all of these good products. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. And we will see you guys next time. Let us know which goggles you want to see us compare next. Right. We won't do it, but tell us.